Hey folks, welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at question 453, minimum number of uh, moves to equal array elements. So the way we will be approaching this problem is by sorting the entire array and moving from the right. Let me explain the solution as I implemented. The first thing we would do is let's just sort it, right? Uh, and then the next thing we do is we get the length of uh, the length of the array itself. So nums plus one, and then oh, what do we have? Oh, we also need a result. So let's just have the result to be zero so far, and then for int i is like, we'll be moving from the back, and the reason will become very obvious in a second. Since we're moving from the back, you need to get all of the elements to the same uh, number. So the way we can do that is uh, incrementing all of the elements in the array to equal the largest element in the array. So since after we sort it, since the largest element in the array will be the rightmost element, you need to get the difference between uh, the last one and the first one. Nums of zero. So basically, when you get the difference, you're saying, hey, like all of the elements from from the little right all the way to the left, you need to increment that by one time so that you get the first element or the smallest element to be equal to the biggest element in the array. So if you keep doing this for every single one of them till you hit zero, the, like which is the first element, you will be fine. Um, let's just quickly run through an example if that's not very obvious. So we have one, two, and three, and this thing is already sorted, right? So we look at three and we look at uh, look at one. So the difference between three and one is two. So you would increment the value of res as two, and then you go to two to one, you know the difference is one, uh, you would increment that again by one, so it becomes three. And you can use this example for other areas, obviously, and this solution would work. Let me quickly run this and see if it's okay. Ah, you were also returning the result. Okay, so it works for this particular example, and it works for the others as well. Well, um, I hope that solution was easy to understand. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If there are any other questions that you want to solve in the code, also let me, in the, uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you folks in the next video.